Hello everybody, happy Friday. Uh, we have finally made it to Friday. I feel like I am dragging myself across the finish line of this week, but um, I've made it and we're all in one piece, so I'm grateful for that. Um, I am gonna be reading from my blog on Psalm 4, verse 4. Um, earlier in the week I did three blogs on anxiety and then I've switched over to um, reading blogs on the ch on chapter 4 from the book of Psalms. And um, I feel like each one of these blogs um, for me is giving me an opportunity to look at something um, that God is wanting to work on in me or um, a way that he's wanting me to go deeper in my relationship with him. And um, today's blog is no different. When I read it um, this week, I just was like, okay, I, I hear what you're trying to tell me, and maybe other people need to hear this message too. Uh, the synopsis of this blog is on uh, verse 4 is, Feel your feelings and then give them to God. Rest in Him, allowing the fragrance of His love to permeate your life. And this blog is entitled, Examine Yourself, Be Still, Live Loved. And it will follow the same pattern of yesterday's blog that I read, of paraphrase, ask yourself, you decide, and take action. Psalm 4 verse 4 says, in your anger do not sin. When you are on your beds, search your hearts and be silent. Selah. My paraphrase of this verse is, it's okay to feel angry, but just because you feel something doesn't mean you have to act on it. When you lay down to rest and are alone with your thoughts, use that time to check yourself. To analyze what you're feeling and why you're feeling it. Don't waste time analyzing anyone else but yourself. Your thoughts, your actions, your words, your feelings, your heart, your mind, and your body. You have cried out to God for help already. Now be, st be silent, listen for his answer, be still, breathe, rest. Ask yourself, where have I allowed my anger to lead me into sin? Am I taking time throughout the day to check in with myself, to take my own emotional temperature and assess my symptoms? When I'm upset with someone or a situation, am I rehashing the details repeatedly in my head and or talking about it to other people? Or am I giving it over to God and then looking at my own heart for what is in me that could be causing me to be upset? Am I looking at my own life to see what God wants to work on in me and teach me about him in those situations? Have I asked God to hear my cry and begged him to answer, then not stop talking long enough to hear his answer? Am I taking time to sit in silence with him? Am I waiting patiently to hear his voice, to just be with him? to stop striving, to breathe in his presence, and to rest in him. You decide. I will feel my feelings and not overreact, overreact to them. Push them aside, deny them, shove them down, or try to numb them. I will take time today to check in with myself, to ask myself how I'm doing, and I will be honest. I will take my hurts and frustrations caused by other people to God and then turn them over to him in order to shift my focus to what he's doing in me and what he's teaching me. I will sit in silence today and listen for God's voice. If he does not speak, I will be okay with just being near him, being in his presence. I will rest in him. I will stop striving. I will breathe him in, allowing the aroma of his love and his grace to permeate me from the inside out. After writing these statements out, I started praying about what action steps I needed to take and felt my mind starting to go in crazy circles. I asked God to let these words be more than just words on a page. I asked him to help me be silent before him. I paused to listen and still felt my mind spinning. I realize I'm not very good at this, or even know how to just sit in silence with no thoughts. This obviously takes practice, but to keep my mind from wandering, as I mentioned in my previous post and yesterday's video, I pictured myself sitting at God's feet. This is what I wrote as the picture unfolded in my mind. 
quiet your heart and picture this with me. I see a man sitting in a chair and he is wearing a white robe. He has sandals on his feet. I lay my head on his knee, knee and wrap my arms around his legs. I lean into him. His hand comes down to gently rest upon my head and he softly runs his hand over my hair. I hear him humming a nameless tune and the melody of his heart pours down over me, anointing me with his fragrance, the perfume of his love. I'm picturing this as I'm sitting in silence and I feel like my heart is going to burst. I have tears in my eyes and I have to break, and I have to break the silence to tell God how good he is, how very much I love him. <clears throat> and I'm reminded that he is such a good and tender father and I'm deeply loved by him. So this is how my action steps will become more than just words on a page. In just a few minutes of sitting quietly in God's presence, I've slowed down and quieted myself enough to allow God to pour himself out over my heart and into my life. As a result of that, I can live loved today. I am living filled up with God and not food. And you can insert whatever your source of comfort is there for me it's food I am walking free from lies and tricks from the enemy I can keep moving forward today knowing that I am his he is mine and everything flows out of that so that is Psalm 4 verse 4 are my thoughts on that verse and um, I think um, for the time that we're, well, any time really, but especially for this time when we have um, less distractions, most of us do anyway, um, I just feel like this is a really good time for um, just trying to focus on whatever it is that God might be trying to tell us, how he might be trying to take us deeper into um, our relationship with him, something that he may want to work on. Um, in us that we might have previously just kind of ignored because we were too busy or we were too stressed um, Which you know, there's still certainly a lot of stress and anxiety right now, and I think that that um, is where the idea of examining yourself and just Assess where you are and say okay. This is how I'm feeling you can't lie about that I mean you feel what you feel and that's okay um and then, you know, what do you want me to do with these feelings? Asking God that. Where where do I go from here? Uh, what are you trying to teach me? Um, and just see what God has to say. And I have um, gotten away from the practice of just sitting in silence. But the times that I do, I feel like my connection to God is so much richer. And the connection with him is so much fuller. Um, when I just stop talking so much about, you know, all the things that I want him to do or fix or give me or what I think I want or need. And I just sit with him and I let him be God and I let myself just be in that moment. Um, so anyway, I hope that um, I have shared something that is encouraging to you or helpful to you and I will be back tomorrow to read from my blog on Psalm 4 verse 5 and I hope everyone has a good rest of their Friday and um, I hope everyone's doing good and like I've said in my last videos if you need prayer or if you're struggling um, leave a comment on my video or message me and I would be happy to um, pray for you or with you um, because if you're struggling, you definitely don't have to go through it alone. So um, I'm here if anybody needs me. And um, I will be back tomorrow, and I will talk to you all then. Bye-bye.